Okay, so you can see the, the beautiful supplemental food source we have out here. Uh, great to sustain wildlife. In fact, uh, most wildlife biologists and professionals recommend about one to five percent of your property in a wildlife supplemental food source. That means devoting however you can uh, certain areas of your property to specific wildlife uh, food sources. And there's other ways to incorporate food source, not just thinking of it as a food plot per se, but active timber management. So how can we incorporate a supplemental food source inside of your timber stand? Because that's the, that's the, the majority of your property. And what they've done here is they've done what's called edge feathering. And they've done that through prescribed fire. And you can see there's a shooting house right behind us over there. And if I were to look in that shooting house, I could see another 150 yards down through there. And that's what a lot of people refer to as maybe a staging area for white-tailed deer, where they might feel comfortable moving along in these areas where you've got native grass. Now, native grass is important because it's something that, that's drastically declining across the southeast. You've got here what, what, you, what you typically see in, in most areas, like a, a conservation reserve program field or a CRP field which is sagebrush, um, and, and it's native, so a lot of times you don't even need to plant it. What you could do is if you can't prescribe fire, you can't herbicide, you could actually go along the edges of your plots and disc them up and just let them come back natural, or even maybe plant a annual crop such as corn. So you've got something with a little more height, you've got, a, you've got an edge where it's not just a drastic cutoff line. So when I refer to a staging area, basically what I'm talking about is an area where a, any kind of wildlife species, wild turkey or white-tailed deer, they're going to feel confident and comfortable moving around without actually venturing out into the open field. And that's, you know, this kind of area in here where you see, if I were to, to be sitting in the shooting house behind us, I could see down through there, so I might be able to take a shot on a deer. but that deer is still not confident enough to enter the food plot. But because we've allowed this, this native grass to, to be incorporated through burning and through thinning, then it's allowed uh, an area where a, a deer, a turkey might feel confident moving around in here without having to be hesitant about coming into a, a plot, you know, directly from a young 10 year old loblolly stand where you can't see anything. And it might be dog hair thick. So they're going to hang around until dark and then they're going to move out into the plot. 